All right, so we got the seats in. Um, we did the radius unshrouding and we have the rough chamber shape now. Um, next step before I do any further finishing on the chamber is I'm gonna get in there and do the porting. Now that I have the seats in, I can remove this big shelf, this big, this is how much bigger we're gonna get the, uh, the valve seat ID on both the intake and the exhaust. You can see how big of a shelf we have. So we're really gonna be able to open that up. And uh, you know, with all this welding and stuff, we're gonna be able to have a huge cross-sectional area. So we uh, filled all this oil passage in. So that's all solid now. So we're really gonna be able to open this thing up and get some air. Shooting for big numbers on this one, record numbers. So uh, stay tuned, we'll see how this thing comes out. I know the guy that uh, I'm building this for really appreciates it, so this one's for you, bud. All right, so uh, probably missed a few things, but head's almost done. I'll get a wrap-up video of it. Right now I'm just tap, drilling and tapping a uh, fitting for 8-inch MPT, NPT, National Pipe Thread, for the uh, pickup for a pulse pump. And uh, just gonna do a couple things. Retap the spark plug hole. Wanna sand some of the uh, weld that popped through when I was doing this. Clean that up a little bit. And I gotta cut the 45 on the seats. And this head will be done. So uh, let me get back to it and I'll show you how it looks when it's complete. Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Carts here. So we got that big block head all finished up. We got the copper seats installed. <coughs> Uh, we got this thing all welded up. Uh, we removed the oil passage, welded this thing completely, welded it down around what I would call the eggshell, uh, the bottom of the port bowl. Uh, Retapped the spark plug, uh, put in a pulse fitting, blended that into the port so there's no overhang to the epoxy coating. And this is one bad motherfucker, I gotta tell you. I don't, this camera does not do it justice. This fucking port is huge all the way through. Just fucking huge. I mean, dude, two fingers through this thing, like two thumbs even. Like this fucking port is huge. Uh, this is definitely gonna be like a record flow number. Um, just because, you know, you can break through down here. You can break through here, you can break through the oil passage, all that's been filled. And this thing has been uh, brought through to the biggest level it can be. Um, we had broken through here, we had to weld that. <clears throat> I mean, this is as big as you can go. Uh, we got 43, 36 valves in this thing. Got the valve train over here, 80 pound springs. She's gonna be running 600 lift in this thing. This thing is just, Everything's polished, everything's finished. We mill, he wanted me to mill as little as possible on it because he wanted to get all the lifts. So I uh, didn't want to take it down too much, even though there's some slight imperfection pock marks in here. I could have probably milled it down a little bit more, but those don't really matter. That's all just welding cast Chineseum. Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing came out absolutely gnarly. Um, got the bronze guides in there. You know, exhaust ports polished. Got some ARP bolts in there for them. Threw a little uh, cap on the barb for them. But this thing is badass, man. You know who you are. Um, you're going to be absolutely dominating out there with this on your big block. And uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to build this for you. I love doing this stuff. And uh, until next time, guys, Paul from Paul's Cards. Have a nice day.